I just wanted you to know that I was safe while I was inside of there. Ooh, mercy. It was hot as a mug in there. Hello everybody, I'm here today at the Dollar General store. I decided it's a sunshiny day and I needed to get out and do a little bit of shopping, so I'm taking you all with me. Unbeknownst to me, there was a sale going on. Everything, home decor, you can read the sign. Everything with a green dot was 50% off. I really didn't see the sign until I was already about halfway through the store but I made this video so that you could see the green dots and know, because I didn't at first. I always get so excited when I see this Pioneer Woman knockoff stuff, but they didn't have very much of it. I'm wondering if they're just not gonna have it anymore. But anyhow, those little jars I thought were so cute. They could be used for something. This little pack of dish rags I thought was so super cute. I love everything with a grain sack stripe and the colors are just my favorite kind of kitcheny colors. Uh, they didn't have a green dot, but $3 for a pack of four, that's still not bad. So half off of this little throw would be $8 and I thought that was, it was a soft little throw, but really this little cup, wouldn't you love to have sweet tea out of that little cup? I would love to have a set of them, but I already have too many cups as it is. This little set of measuring cups I thought was really cute. It would have been half off. There was a lot to choose from still. Um, these pillows down here which I've had my eye on for a long time and I love blue but I don't really have a whole lot of blue in my living room my bathroom I do but not in my living room but this makes me think that maybe I should have some blue okay when I saw this I automatically pictured lemonade wouldn't that be so sweet lemonade in that little jar and these little buckets, I thought maybe I could do some crafts with for 50 cents. That's better than the Dollar Tree. Then my eye spotted something on the bottom shelf. I'm always on the lookout for a really cute rug. And I loved the bicycle on this. But wait, there's something even better. Look at that half off it's going in the cart my heart always just loves these boxes my gosh look how cute that is in there i see them everywhere like at michael's and this one half off would only be five dollars i think it has a green dot anyway um you could put your pictures inside of there, recipes, anything. And I even saw someone, I wish I could think who it was. It was, it was on YouTube, um, a lady who turned one of these boxes into a charging station, like on her bedside table, where to hide all the ugly cords for, you know, phone and everything that you need to charge, just put holes in the back of the box and feed the wires through. And then all the ugliness is hid inside. Isn't that brilliant? Where has this butter dish been my whole life? It wasn't half off, but it went into the cart. Yes, it did. Okay, so now we get into the meat and potatoes of the home decor section of the Dollar General store. 
Even these tags are cute. Look at that. They are getting so good at this knockoff farmhouse stuff and better deals than you can find anywhere else in my opinion. Um, these little table decor things, they're not really my style with the cow and the pig and the chicken, but hey, to each their own. Somebody may love those, but I did love the white little bottoms to them. If I could have took the little animals off the top, I could have done something with those. And this little jar didn't have a price on it. That made me sad, but don't you just love that little design on there? Candles, candles, candles. Can we ever get enough candles? And these are so pretty to set out, but of course, you know, I had to take a little sniff. And this one here, the salted driftwood, uh, it was a little musky, I guess, for my taste. I like my candles to either smell like flowers or food. Now, this other one sitting beside it. It had a nice kind of vanilla. I don't remember what the scent was supposed to be, but it smelled like like a real cookie, vanilla-y food, make you hungry when it burns kind of candle. I gave it a thumbs up. These picture frames immediately caught my attention because of the colors. Oh my gosh, aren't those pretty? And that little picture with the picture and the flowers, if it didn't have the writing, I would just leave that inside of there because that's so cute. And this section was all kinds of wall decor. I mean, I say it's comparable to some Kirkland stuff. It was pretty decent. Um, $8, look at that white one. That, that's totally worth $8 to me. And behind there, I've seen these, these welcome, all these little florals, they always catch my eye. I wish I could be more flowery in my house. I, I'm so neutral. I feel like I need more color. Anyway, good prices though, don't you think? Okay, this is hilarious. I saw this sitting back there and it said hand wash and my mind immediately thought oh my gosh they're making signs you know for people <laughs> for coronavirus to remind them to wash their hands <laughs> and then i realized the picture behind it says line dry and it's supposed to be laundry room decor <laughs> what should appear before my eyes but a galvanized metal sign i thought this was cute and that laundry sign back behind there was cute too i don't know why i didn't pick it up but five dollars for this little sign not too bad that basket mirror not my style but this had a green dot two dollars fifty cents and this has caught my eye ever since they put it in the store ever since they started putting this farmhouse type stuff so yes, that winds up going in my cart. Begrudgingly, I pushed aside the blue picture because my living room has no blue in it to see what was behind it. And look behind there is some lemons. I do love lemons. And this is a glass cutting board. Have any any of you ever tried a glass cutting board? I never have, but hey, maybe it's something awesome. I'm not for certain, but I think there were four of them inside. Like there was a set for $5. Hey, maybe it's worth a shot. This shelf here was all lantern type things. So if you're in need of some lanterns, they've got them. And do you see that circle-y one? Get the camera back up there. It was a green dot, the $10 one back behind there. That's a circle. Green dot, $5. 
and this one I liked a lot. I was looking for the price, and uh, the one right beside it had the price. Six dollars, not bad. And that'd be pretty with a flower candle ring and a candle. These were cute for three dollars, and also those are like stone, like cement, or I don't know, they were heavy, heavy things. Now, when I came down here to look at these, just wait, wait for it. These are pretty cute, but there's something even better coming. Just wait for it. And there it is. What have I uncovered? <gasps> it has wood beads. It is white. It is a lantern. It has no price. What in the world? And it's still in the bubble wrap. Why do they not have this out front and center? This should be the first thing you see when you walk in the store. Look at the gorgeousness of this little item. Can you even believe that this is from the Dollar General store? And again, some shiny metal catches my eye. And look at this. This definitely looks like something from Kirkland's to me or Home Goods. It's a it's a nice thing that you can set out on your kitchen island or kitchen table, dining room table. I'm not sure what you put inside of it. Maybe some of those potpourri balls. I don't know, but I, I liked it. And this tabletop decor piece, $12. And it needs a little work because it needs some moss down inside or some rocks or something because it just had the, the green foam showing. But I do like the metal and the wood on that. And this shelf is pretty cool for $10. Was it $10? Yep, $10 for a black iron and wood shelf could be great in someone's living room or bedroom or anywhere okay now this is something special these greenery bushes are usually three dollars but look there's a green dot a dollar fifty for these frosty like little green bushes they are some of my favorite I've bought them before and they have them in yellow and pink For all you modern industrial farmhouse people or boho type people, look at this cool candle. I thought that was so pretty sitting next to all this white ceramic and the black metal on this succulent planter. I thought that was a great grouping. I'd like to call your attention to this new display that's in most Dollar General stores. I think they've really upped their game on their fake flowers. This whole section of stuff was baskets. They have lots and lots of baskets and some of them were a little pricey for the dollar store, but, but they're really good quality. I think these right here could be hung on the wall with some flowers inside. Don't you think that'd be pretty? This table runner, guys, this table runner is so pretty and farmhouse and only $7. I don't see how anybody could pass this up. Why is this even still in the store? I have the matching tablecloth that 
I use in my kitchen at my coffee station. And if they have another one in the store, I'm gonna buy it and make some new kitchen curtains out of it. But look how that pattern goes with all of the wood and black metal farmhouse stuff. I think that's so pretty. And look how they have their throw blankets put on these hangers, just like you would see at TJ Maxx or Home Goods. And eight dollars. And these were so soft, people. I'm telling you. This one with the fur, I would love to curl up with that one. But this next one was something really special. I thought this uh, sweater type blanket. Don't you guys love those? I stinking love those in the winter time. And look, this one has a little fringe on the bottom. I would love to drape that over a chair in my living room. I put together a little grouping to give you some idea of things that you can do just using this stuff from the Dollar General store. And this was off the cuff. I didn't put a lot of thought into this. I kind of just grabbed stuff and put it in a grouping. And here's another idea. Um, maybe take some of that really pretty greenery and put in that basket. And that basket is 50% off, green dot, $3. I think I think I like the second one even better, don't you? And here's the tablecloth that matches the table runner and I already have one of these and this one I'm going to make new kitchen curtains out of. You'll be shocked to see that I did not put the lantern with the wooden beads inside my cart, only because I have a project in mind to make something similar. But look at all this great stuff that I got. Even though there's no blue in my house, I think that little blue checkity could be a great gift for someone. It was a green dot. And the butter dish, the thing I'm most excited about on this trip. Lord of mercy, get some air going in here. <sighs> Isn't it awesome what the Dollar General has these days? Thanks for going shopping with me and don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos. I'll be posting every Friday. Bye for now.